हेलो फ्रेंड्स फॉलोइंग इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशंस आर यूज्ड फॉर पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन वी नो दैट v इक्वल्स टू u प्लस ए टी इक्वेशन वन एस इक्वल्स टू यू टी प्लस हाफ टाइम ए टी स्क्वायर इक्वेशन टू v स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू टाइम ए एस इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री लेट अस डिस्कस द टर्म इन्वॉल्व इन द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन सो वी हैव रिटर्न हियर थ्री इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर द पार्टिकल परफॉर्मिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन नाउ हियर v इज दिस v कैपिटल v is the final velocity final velocity unit is meter per second dimension is l by t small u is the initial velocity unit is meter per second dimension is l by t t is time required for a particle to perform the linear motion unit is second and the dimension is t now the s s is position of a particle at time t its unit is meter and dimension is l now come to the this point a a is the acceleration unit is meter per second square dimension is l by t square friends we will use this equation to find out final position of the particle when initial and time is given we can also find out the distance covered by a particle when it is traveling in a straight line we can also find out the distance of a particle when the final velocity and initial velocity is given so based on this equation of motion we will cover now a example so this is the example i will read it particle starts with an initial velocity 2.5 meter per second along the positive x direction and it accelerate uniformly at the rate 0.50 meter per second square now here it is mentioned that the particle starts with initial velocity and along the positive x direction see positive x direction that means the motion of the particle is a straight line motion we'll have to find out here distance travel by it in the first 2 second b how much time does it take to reach the velocity 7.5 meter per second how much distance will it cover in a reaching the velocity 7.5 meter per second so this is the best example to cover up the all three equations we have put it down so we will use the equation first to find out uh, the distance covered by uh, the first particle uh, for 2 second so given data given data initial velocity is given 2.5 meter per second 
it is accelerating uniformly at the rate of 0.50 meter per second square so acceleration is given 0.50 meter per second square so here we have to find out the distance traveled by it so a we have s equals to ut plus half time a t square putting the values given values u equals to 2.5 meter per second time is given 2 second plus half time acceleration is 0.50 meter per second square again time 2 second square by solving this equation we will find out distance traveled by the particle in the first two second is 6 meter coming to the point b we have v equals to u plus at that is the first equation of motion we will simplify this equation to find out time so time equals to v minus u by a a is the acceleration v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity so here 7.5 meter per second so here it is mentioned that how much time does it take how much time does it take to reach the velocity 7.5 meter per second when initial velocity is 2.5 meter per second that means final velocity is 7.5 meter per second so we have equation of motion v equals to u plus at we have to find out time so 7.5 meter per second minus u is 2.5 meter per second divided by acceleration 0.50 meter per second square so by solving the sum we are getting time equals to 10 second then coming to the c c we have we have third equation of motion that is v square equals to u square plus 2 as so friends we have to calculate here how much distance will it cover in reaching the velocity 7.5 meter per second so we have to find out distance over here in reaching the velocity 7.5 meter per second therefore we are using third equation of motion that is v square equals to u square plus twice as again we have to calculate distance here so we will simplify the relation s equals to v square minus u square divided by 2a a is the acceleration over here putting the values of final velocity initial velocity and acceleration so we are getting 7.5 meter per second square bracket square minus 2.5 meter per second square bracket square divided by 2 into acceleration is 0.50 meter per second square so here i am getting s equals to 50 meter hello friends let us find out the point c over here we have v square equals to u square plus 2as v is the final velocity 
u is the initial velocity a is the acceleration of particle and s is the distance so we have to calculate here how much distance will it cover in reaching the velocity 7.5 meter per second so friends we have to calculate distance over here that's why we have used the third equation of motion that is v square equals to u square plus 2 as now we have to calculate distance as equals to v square minus u square by 2 a so v square that is 7.5 meter per second square minus u square that is the initial velocity 2.5 meter per second square divided by 2 into acceleration 0.50 meter per second square after solving the equation we are getting distance s equals to 50 meter so we learn now if the initial velocity final velocity and acceleration of a particle is given then with that velocity and within the complete time how much particle will move or how much distance will covered by the particle hello friends we will now we will learn distance travel by particle in n second what does it means a particle is traveling along the straight line so it will start from 0 second to 15 second but sometimes we are interested to find out distance of a particle distance travel by a particle in n second what does it mean suppose we want to find out how much amount of distance it has covered at the 15 second so we will use the following formula sn equals to u plus a by 2 2n minus 1 where sn is the distance traveled in and second for t equals to n and t equals to n minus 1 sn is the distance traveled in n second u is the initial velocity so particle will move with initial velocity meter per second then at constant acceleration a meter per second square and the time period for which we want to find out distance covered by the particle so we will use this formula and we will calculate distance travel by particle in n second thank you